Hello, welcome to the second episode of Implementing Exceptions with Ruby. My name is Hernan Wilkinson of Tempines, and remember that we are implementing a new exception model in the language, in the Ruby language. What have we done so far? Well, we wrote our first test, and uh, we are testing that when a block receives the message call handling, and that block doesn't throw any exception, then the exception handler is not evaluated and we get the result of evaluating the block as a result. Now we have to think on the second test. It looks like the second test is going to be the opposite of the first one, that is we have to write a block that throws an exception and we are waiting for that for the exception handler to be evaluated. So let's do some code reuse that is copy paste on this case of course that is a bad joke and let's write a, some code where we are going to throw an exception here we we could be uh, tempted to do something like that something like this sorry throw exception blah 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 but remember that we cannot do it because we are just writing that kind of code so we have to write some uh, collaboration uh, we have to send a message to an object to throw an exception we cannot use the exception class neither because we are just re-implementing the exception model so let's do this let's ha write uh, a new class to represent exceptions let's call it new exception uh, and let's send the message throw to that object okay doing so we are expecting uh, an exception of type new exception to be thrown so we're going to handle it and we want the um, exception handler to be evaluated and to return some object let's say that it returns the object too so we don't have to change the assertion okay so it looks like we have our second test that is going to verify that if an exception is thrown the exception handler is evaluated. Let's, write the let's run the test and we can see that we got an, an error because we haven't defined the new exception class so let's do it. New exception sorry new exception okay let's run the test we, had, uh, we got an error now that says that the throw message is not implemented so let's implement that message as a, as a class method because it's a message that we are sending to the class and what we want to do here is to create a new instance of the class and send the message through to it because remember that exceptions are instances of a class not the class itself so now we we are going to implement the message throw in the new exception class and how how we are going to do this. Uh, oh, let's see what happens here. Okay, we are not getting an error, we are getting a failure, and the failure is we are going is because we are getting nil instead of two, and that's because the message thrown throw is not doing anything. And what we want to do from here? Well we want to evaluate the handler that the message call handling is receiving as a parameter. So how what how can we from here evaluate this this uh, block, we we have to keep it in somewhere to be able from this meth this method to evaluate it. So I think the first or the easiest way to uh, keep this object is to save it in an except in a, a class instance variable of the class proc, and therefore from here to be able to reference it. So let's do that. Let's send the message uh, current handler to self to the class and we are gonna send it the handler as a parameter so let's define the method current handler that receives a handler and let's save that in a class instance variable okay so now that we are doing that from here from the method throw we can 
access that variable so we could do something like that we could ask the class proc for his current handler and then send the message call to it but if we do this we are breaking the encapsulation of the object proc and we don't want to do that we want to uh, all the objects to we, we don't want to break encapsulation so what we are going to do is we are going to forward the message we are going to give the responsibility to the proc class to handle the exception that we are throwing so we will just say to the proc handle self so now we have to implement the method handle that is going to receive an exception as a parameter and from here we can access the current handle without any problem and what we are going to do is just evaluate that handler sending an exception as a parameter ok I think we have everything in place let's see what the test says yes the test passed so it is running so ok we wrote our second test it has an error I don't know if you have so seen it but the problem with, it, with this test is that we are not verifying that after sending the message throw the message throw sorry um, no message is sent after it so for example let's re let's uh, modify it, this test a little bit and let's say that after the throw we we'll re return 3 if we run the test we will see that it's failing so that's a problem that we have right now in our model but we are not going to uh, solve it here in this episode that's something that we are going to do in the next one so what have we done in the second episode we have defined a new class to represent exceptions we call it new exception because we don't have a better name for it yet and new exceptions know how to answer the message throw to single exceptions and we did not break the encapsulation of the object that is a class named proc and we followed that responsibility to uh, we forward that responsibility to the uh, class proc proc now handles uh, sorry answers the message handle uh, and executes the exception handler from the point of view of TDD again we implemented the simplest solution that could work even though doing something that is not nice from the design point of view and that is to use a class instance variable but the test worked and we are happy so I hope to see you in the next episode of this series of videos.